Well, today we're starting the inside. We don't really have any strategy as of right now, but I'm thinking the first thing I'm gonna do is cut all the ugliness out of it. And then we'll go from there. We'll just let it evolve. But as you can see, it's pretty bad. But it'll all work out in the end. Just gotta put the work in. That looks a lot better. <laughs> All right, we'll get in there and clean that up a bit. I'm gonna mark this, I'm gonna mark this a little bigger than the one I cut out. And I'm gonna cut it. They don't need the whole thing. Okay, and that's roughly where we're gonna cut it. Beautiful. Now we got something we can work with. It looks a ton better already. I noticed this piece would suit me better if it was flat. This piece, or my old piece, is flat. So I'm going to hammer this down and I'm going to hammer this flat. And then we're going to try it again. Okay, let's get this in place. Clamp on so we can cut it. Now we're going to butt cut it there. And we're going to start welding it in. Okay, we'll be able to cut and butt that. Gotta remove this piece. Do that right now. We're gonna clean this metal up here and we're gonna start welding. Okay, now we gotta refit that piece in there again. Gotta make sure we get this wrapped around the lip on the outside panel. Nice straight plane up here.
that metal stretch so you can move it. Come on, I'm good. Okay, this is something I don't know if I pointed out in earlier videos, but when you weld patches from the outside, if you can't weld them again from the inside, you're better off because it's stronger, looks better. If anybody ever looks at it, it looks better. It looks like you took a little extra time to try to do the best you can. And it also help alleviate any pinholes that you might have missed. And it does look a lot better. Now, I still have to weld all this in solid. That's coming up. Well, she's welded in solid. Looks a lot better than when we started. We're going to clean it up a little bit. We're not going to grind it down. We're just going to hit it with the wire brush, and that'll be it. Looks a lot better now. Next thing we gotta do is hit this side. That'll be another day. Right now we're looking good over here. And like I always say, we got this nasty job done. So it gives us inspiration to go and do the other side. We already did it once, so it'll be easier the second time. It is a patch. Okay, we'll grind that down a little bit, and we'll start the next part. Okay, here's the deal. When I cut this piece, I cut it way too short. I should have went up here where this line is. Because this is rusty in here. So, I got a piece, not the right piece, but I'm going to bang it down in behind and hopefully be able to make a pattern. Okay, let's see if we can tap that down. Okay. Oh, 
we'll get our marker. We'll draw a line on there and then we'll go over on that hand shear and cut it. Okay, now we want to cut it on this line and it should work on there for us. We're trimming up here a little bit with the flapper wheel, then it should fit. Okay, so much for that. Try fitting that in place. Okay, we got that additional piece tacked on, and it's got to be cut and butt up here and around this corner. But in order to cut and butt it, it has to be, we have to get it right on there. And there's a space, you can see like where my finger is. So I'm gonna to try to put it together with sheet metal screws and then cut it and butt it. Okay, let's try it out. Too much, we have to use the coat hanger. I'm going to tackle with the welder. Make that work. I'm gonna cut her again. take them screws out of there and if everything works out the way it should we should be able to take that piece out of there let's hope for the best Well, maybe I can reach it from the back.
Whew, we're getting it. That's it. Get out of there. All right. Okay, we're gonna start tacking that where we can. Gotta start somewhere. See if I can clean that metal up a little bit. with the wire brush, clean it up a little bit, we'll get welded. Well, there's more of a gap there than I want, so it's going to take some welding to get that all filled in. But we're going to get at it, getting towards the end of the day. All right, let's go. Well, the rear driver's inside quarter is complete. A lot of welding. If I didn't make that mistake and cut that one piece short, it would have been a lot less, but I cut myself a lot of extra work. But when you make a mistake, you can't get disgusted. You gotta fix it. All right, see you in the next one.